likely lots and lots of bullets exploding inside that house. And let me show you what's going on right now. You can see behind me here all these crews out here trying to clean up what's left of the garage where all of this stuff was stored. Now, the homeowner told me that he keeps a lot of stuff in that garage that he planned to sell, including ammo. And that started going off when firefighters tried to knock down this huge fire. The fire filled Glassport with smoke and the sound of ammunition exploding. I looked out the front door, there were flames all over the house, up above these houses here. The fire first ripped through the garage behind a house on Monongahela Avenue, then spread to the house itself. The owner, John McCombs, told me he was in the garage just minutes before. There was nothing turned on in the garage, no lights, no nothing, but boom. And I mean, it burned up fast. McCombs says the garage was packed with items he sells at flea markets along with guns and ammo. We saw firefighters take several of those guns from the charred house at Glassport's police headquarters for safekeeping. The fire also jumped to the home next door where Ricky Vasquez lives. He's a Glassport firefighter and immediately started trying to get his neighbors to safety. Myself and uh, my safety officer, we. Uh, we kind of took off running. We heard the bullets going off, you know, the ammo going off, and tried keeping everybody back. The homes are only a few feet apart, but still, firefighters were able to keep the fire from causing severe damage to the neighboring houses. They did an absolutely fantastic job. You never know how, how great of a job these guys do day in and day out. So, what happens to you? McCombs can't explain what caused the fire in his garage, but now he has to start over. I've been here for 47 years. And I'm going to have to start looking for a new house. And the fire marshal is investigating right now, but no word yet on what did cause this fire. I can tell you, though, no one was hurt. Reporting live in Glassport, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank you.